Okay, welcome to my living room, if you've been here before. Um, I've had a request to do some blues-based finger-picking from uh, my um, community music group, so um, we're going to have a relaxed look at that. Um, so if you want a fast, punchy video with lots of information fast, then um, the only thing you can do is uh, probably speed up the video by pressing the cog in the bottom right-hand side and speeding it up, or go have a look at one of my other videos. If if this is your idea of finger picking, then, then um, you have to stop doing that at once. That's not not acceptable. Um, my version of finger picking has um, got a little bit more going on to it, and came about because of um, getting bored and I was learning guitar playing chords and wanted to do something a little bit more interesting. So this video is going to be a bit back to front. I'm going to start with some complicated stuff or more complicated and then um, possibly go indoors because uh, it's a bit cold out here and uh, look at some simple stuff later on. Um, interpretation of Mercury Blues So, I'm using my thumb for the bass notes. Uh, mostly on the offbeat. And then it switches to the on. This sounds different with fingers you can mute more with your fingers I think so sure you can finger pick with three fingers and use a pick but it's just different that's a totally different sound here I'm pulling the, the strings away from the fretboard because they're clanging on the fretboard potentially and I've got two extra fingers to you know use in a more percussive way Different. So um, right, let's go indoors. Okay, let me just explain a little bit about why I wound up playing and the way that I do using the finger picking. I suppose um, when I was a kid, I always used to listen to uh, the blues greats. I used to love Muddy Waters and where we are, but King, um, Carrie and Laurie Bell, Howling Wolf. And then, you know, in later days, you, you've had uh, other people interpreting blues, Fleetwood Mac, early Fleetwood Mac, Hendrix, obviously, even Kinks, even Black Sabbath and some of that, you know, sort of um, um, deep, 
purple early on. Um, would interpret the blues stones obviously in early Zeppelin. Um, I used to listen to a lot of Steve Miller and the um, earlier earlier ZZ Top. I mean, that, that if you want to get into you know looking at blues and boogies, that's a good band to listen to. They, they really um, uh, were heavily influenced by earlier blues artists. And I just want to play a couple of tunes. So, and this is from sorry, Fly Like an Eagle, Steve Miller Band, um, Mercury Records. So Mercury Blues. I'm just going to play a quick little sample of that. So it's a nice easy riff to follow. Um, so I'll just break down an easy version of that. Here's another one. Just the opening riff on. Um, no ZZ Top track, which is um, just got paid. So it's a slightly more complicated riff. <laughs> You know, when I was young, there wasn't any MTV. Well, we didn't have access to it anyway. And um, you know, no YouTube or anything. But um, I just used to use my ears. And we could um, turn the record. Turn the record on slow speed. And then you can pick out the notes more easily. Right. This is the easy bit. So let's break down a couple of things. Mercury Blues. Um, for the beginner, um, you can start by doing this. That's the first four notes. So it's uh, string six, fret two, two on there, one and open, and then one back on fret two. So that's the first four notes, picking with thumb, and then that's the next four notes. So it's same starts again, two on the fret two string six, one on open string five, and then one back on string six fret two. Okay, so when your brain's got used to that, the next thing is an octave higher. So you're on fret, um, fret four string four. Okay. 
Now the chords are not picked um, necessarily. You can you can pick them. So that's going up to the one, four, and five. So that's your one. Da, 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 da. One, two, three, four, five. That's your four. So so that chord. I'll just zoom in on there. It's like a triangle. And the five is the same chord, just up two frets. You can just pick that and then go back. And then one thing you could learn is that one there. So it's then go on fret two, string one, two, three, and then you pick string three, hammer down on fret three on string three, and then pick strings one and two. So it's worth playing with because if you drop your pick you can be quite versatile and just play in a different way. It's not as aggressive necessarily, um, but it's still accurate. I think you're limited sometimes maybe to um, maybe you're limited to speed because with the practicum you can rapidly pick up and down. It's not so easy to do that with your, with your fingers. You're um, a bit slower I think when you're doing this kind of... But you know what? I don't think speed is um, always the you know the best thing. Let's have a look at that ZZ Top riff. So that's quite easy. Let me just show you that ZZ Top riff. So, so that's um, pick string four, hammer on uh, string four on fret two, and then open string six, and then open string three. So it goes. Yeah, and it goes back down to this. What you could do is break it in half. You know, almost like you're playing piano and you learn one hand and then you learn the other hand. So the riff is. So when you've got that in your head, you can learn that and then learn the, the offbeat, which is um, on the E string open. So that's just doing that on the E string, on the offbeat. So the only frets is that one and that one. The rest is open. The more you practice these riffs, the more, and the more riffs you learn, the more it will start getting embedded in your muscle memory and it will just come out without you physically or consciously telling it to happen. Like walking, you don't think left foot, right foot, left foot, unless you've had a serious accident or something. It's just automatic and that's um, what will happen with your guitar playing. The point I wanted to make is um, that Steve Miller tune same way as him, it's just the way that I interpreted it. Um, learning the, the opening from the ZZ Top. The, the pattern of that is um, slightly more challenging than the... That's more on the beat, this is coming off the beat. On the, the bass. So... 
quite an influence on my little brain to get it to start mucking around and exploring different patterns of playing and you know a little bit down the line I could um, play stuff like this. <laughs> similar in, in, in some respects um, but that's where that riff came from learning other stuff like uh, you know like these two other, other, other tunes I hope that was useful in some ways and um, I just want to encourage you to give it a go park the plectrum and use your fingers a little bit more mm -hmm.